Some concerned parents in Lusaka are urging the government to address loopholes in the education sector to ensure quite free education for all. Speaking in random interviews with Revolution News, parents emphasized the need for the government to build more schools to accommodate the increasing number of pupils due to the free education policy. They expressed concern that the current education system is compromised due to insufficient infrastructure. <laughs> They, however, commended the government for introducing and sustaining free education, stating that it has helped keep their children away from illicit activities such as drug abuse. Uh, in the recent past, uh, some time back, I was a very because a lot of children have gone back to school because some time back they just want to drop around uh, drink cachaso, smoky, wheat tea, and uh, boasting. Now they have started going to So we have done a very good job. Uh, and continue, please. Even on Bazali, Bazali, we should continue supporting those people who are doing fine. Because free education is very important for this country, it's very important for the whole nation. And uh, well, my opinion is that um, the government is actually doing a great job because most of the youth, uh, those who are, who are not able to access quality education due to some financial limitation, the government has come in and brought a, an, in, an in initiative to. Um, more like educate the youth at large. So meaning uh, there will be a reduction in on vices such as crimes because most of the youth is educated. At the end of the day, making a better country. These sentiments were echoed during an interaction with United Party for National Development, UPND Deputy National Youth Chairperson for Politics and Mobilization, Trevor Mwinde, in the Central Business District, CBD. Mr. Mwinde engaged with parents to ascertain their views on providing quality education to learners in the country. Uh, former president of Zambia uh, should not deceive the student uh, followers and uh, the cadre of students in this uh, country, they know too well it is within the domain of common sense and common understanding. It's not long ago uh, when they had stripped a new allowance, they had increased registration fees, making education only uh, accessible to a, a, a rich few. Mr. Mwinde said that to improve the quality of education in the country, government has continued to recruit more teachers and through CDF built schools to offer quite free education to learners. Teachers have also been recruited in mass to make sure that the teacher pupil ratio is reduced. In as much as you can talk about congestion in schools, it has been overtaken by events because the transfer of teachers from private schools into government schools has made it very competitive that government schools have even now over enrolled, which is a good sign showing that the country is in really dire need of proper schooling and proper education. As calls for improvement in the education sector grow louder, parents are hoped that the government will take action to address the challenges and ensure that every child receives a quality education. Mangin Zombola, Vashia News, Lusaka.